Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. Today it is here. Twice I can't stop me music video. I am very very excited. If you didn't know I did check out all of the um, concept films and the teasers and whatnot. The only thing that I haven't looked at is the album medley. I've kind of kept myself away from that because I want to, uh, you know, enjoy the album as much with fresh ears, um, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm too excited, um, <laughs> as possible. Um, album listen will be happening, but that'll be over on Patreon as soon as lyric videos become available and I can uh, figure out exactly what they're saying. Um, but in the meantime, the music video is here and I'm so excited. So let's not waste any time, let's get into it. Ooh. So, so, based on the teasers, we know that this is sort of a continuation of more and more and the whole um, leaving Eden kind of concept situation. Um, this first image is fascinating, but let's, I can just see them poking through there and I'm terrified by it, but let's, let's get into this twice. I can't stop my music video. Three, two, one, go. I've got the captions on. I can't guarantee I'm actually going to pay attention to them at all. Oh my God. No, don't pause. Wow. Oh my God, Mina. This choreo, hello, hello. Okay, I'm. I can already like. We already. We already knew I was gonna watch this twice. Oh my god, Chewy, yes. Um, we already knew I was gonna watch this twice to try and figure everything out. But like, is that a J? That please tell me that wasn't a J line situation just there. Her with the red hair is so beautiful. Wow. I've had maybe one coherent thought this whole music video and I can't remember what it is. But this was so this was the the concept teaser what was it? One of the teasers. That this choreo. This is gonna be exhausting to perform, Jesus. Mina, wow. I, I keep having things that I wanna say, and then something else happens. But we'll go through it much more in my second watch through. Oh, hello adlibs. Sangin, you look so beautiful. I mean, I can only assume that's Gio going ham in the background there. Well, that's definitely Gio. There is so much I love about this. <laughs> wow. I, uh... Okay. Oh. Right. As I said, 
I had so many thoughts during that that I just couldn't get out because by the time I'd figured out how to, you know, connect my brain to my mouth again, something else happened and I short circuited. Um, so we're gonna go through it again and I'm gonna pause and talk about it. First things first, initially off the bat, I am absolutely obsessed with the song. It is lower in pitch to many of their other songs, which I love because it allows many more of their voices to shine a lot more. Um, I love the amount of Jungian we see in the music video. Love to see it and hear it. Um, okay, yeah, everything else is, I'm just gonna have to, okay, right. <laughs> All right, first things first, this is a very, it's a <laughs> we'll get to you. It's a very similar formation. Um, to the start of more and more. Um, they're just obviously in different places and it opens up differently and they dance differently, but it's a very similar formation. Just, yeah. <laughs> they really said, we're gonna hit you. The first solo shot of the music video is gonna be Sana and we're gonna like, just start it off <laughs> right from the bat. You're gonna be no brain <laughs> for the rest of this music video. <sighs> I hate them. <laughs> I love the way this starts. This 80s beat is Mina. Mina. Throughout this whole music. So they all look stunning. They all look beautiful. They always do. It is like their thing. I don't know what has happened to Mina this year. But she went from like stupidly, ridiculously beautiful to somehow more beautiful than that. I... I can't wait to see this choreo in full. Ooh, this beat. So we have this very 80s beat. I love the like heterochromic lenses um and also the glitter on that's super cool um but yeah no you've got this very 80s beat and then it's almost um it almost sounds like a trap beat kind of blending in with it it's very interesting And there's, this is, I mentioned this in the teaser, but I love this bit of choreo because it's like this weird blend of like ooh ah and more and more the respective hip movements. I just, I don't know, it makes me, it makes me smile. It feels like a throwback. And this, the legs, the... Like that is so hard to do and keep your balance. And all I can think also, Ooh, all I can think with this with this moment where they go down to the legs is like like you can see from the little bits that you, we catch throughout this this is this is a pretty high tempo high energy um choreo it's gonna be pretty damn exhausting but the fact that they are coming up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down like throughout the whole thing oh god damn they don't do things by halves, and I appreciate that about them. Yeah, oh, that was the other thing I was gonna say. Nyon's vocals. Ridiculous. I love this bit. I love this bit, both in the song and in the choreo, and the way Tsui comes through there. I think Momo does it later. I'm not going to pretend that I understand at all what is happening in this music video. I'm not even going to, like, I, I, I can just about form coherent sentences commenting on, like, the bare surface level of everything. We're not doing deep thoughts today. No, no. Right, yeah, is this? No, it's not. Okay. I was terrified. I was genuinely terrified for a second that it that they like given me a J line moment and I was about to have a breakdown, but no, I think it's Sun and Momo and Tui, which is still 
a lot, but. And then we got Joan, Nyan, and. Sana. Sana, I'm gonna need you to stop. <laughs> God, the song's a bop. I've already got it in my head. <sighs> the vocals? in this chorus, it made, gave me hiccups. <laughs> this, this was, okay, this was the moment where I had like a really coherent thought and then I think Mina distracted me afterwards. We get a little bit of Momo rap. So for anyone that doesn't know, which is gonna be the majority of the people that watch this, um, um, over on Patreon, literally yesterday, I released a first listen to the Yes or Yes mini album. It was a request. It was great. I had a great time. But one of the things that I talked about in there was, one, um, wanting them to pitch their songs lower, because in the few moments that you hear them with, like, lower tone vocals, you can hear how much stronger so many of their voices are. Um, and two, I wanted to hear Momo rap more, and we actually get it in this song. And it just made me so happy. I was like, yes, let Momo rap. I know I know the rap lines are already so difficult to for apparently for, for JYP to disperse amongst the, the main two, but like let Momo rap. Yeah, and this Mina moment. And these dresses are so beautiful. I can't believe they made Tui run in that dress. That is so rude. That is not a dress one can even slightly run in. These ad libs. Yeah, I can only assume. Well, actually, no, I don't know. That could be Nyan. Oh. Strong chance that is Nyon actually. And this next lot of Geo. Yeah, that's Geo. Oh, maybe it was Nyon doing that first lot. Oh, she looks so good. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that Momo's kind of got this, <laughs> kind of got this Pulp Fiction cut going on as well. <sighs> Devastating. Wow. Wow. Well, well then, that was an experience. Um, I don't even know what to think of all of that. That was just so much. I loved it, that much I know. I loved it. But that's about as much as I can muster. <laughs> I'm super excited to check out the full album. I'm so, so, so excited for that. As I said, that'll be over on Patreon once we have some lyric videos out. But, oh God. There is so much that is so freaking cool about that. And I love the fact that they're kind of continuously evolving and revolutionizing their own sound um like making something new each time and it still sounds like them and like i mean we've we've been watching like a maturity shift over the last couple of years right like that's just been happening um 
but this feels like if if from from fancy to feel special to more and more were like continuous steps up this feels like a leap up in terms of maturity of sound um like big time and i don't know if it's because it's got a slightly darker sound um as opposed to so many of their songs that have this much brighter funner cuter energy um but there is something very unique about this for them um and i love it i think it's i think it's awesome and i'm so intrigued to see where they go next um for like the next comeback whenever that is i hope they get some rest <laughs> um but yeah anyway i love that let me know what your guys' thoughts were um like honestly i i don't even know how i can i don't think i can compare it to any other twice title tracks like you know listening to more and more i could kind of be like okay so where does it sit kind of like within other twice title tracks for me because you know there was still some pretty heavy similarities in sound like with that brighter sound you know but this is so different from so much of what they've done that i don't think i think this is like a whole new a whole new era like a whole different thing um I don't know, it's just super interesting. I'd be very intrigued to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Um, I do love it, I just don't know how to, like, word all of that in relation to everything else, you know? Um, yeah, that was great. That was great. I love the music video as well. The music video was very, very fun. Um, very choreo heavy, which was cool. <sighs> okay, yeah, I I have no, no further thoughts. <laughs> no further thoughts can't even speak um i'm gonna end this one here <laughs> as i said let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments let's have a chat about it um i will listen to be on patreon yeah that is everything okay i will end this one here thank you so much for watching i will catch you guys in the next one Bye bye